Hi everyone, this is Aaron. Today is Wednesday, August 22nd, 2018. I'm recording from my home studio and you are listening to the Sound Words Podcast. I'm making several new changes to the podcast. The first is that I'm going to be very focused on making this a podcast about worship leading. The second is that it's going to go back to a free-flowing conversation with very little editing. And the third thing is that I'm going to have a guest on the show. Today's guest is Philip Zechariah. We play music together at our church, FCBC Walnut, and we recorded our conversation about a week ago. We're going to talk about maturing as music leaders, serving your team, and leading worship at weddings. Thanks for listening. Philip, what have you been doing recently in terms of music leadership? Um, I think with leadership wise, I think it's been trying to like find ways to get my, like my worship, like the people that I lead worship with, like more excited about Mm. like singing and stuff. And I think it's like, or I think like example with like the, or this, I can only this in it. Right. But I think with it, I don't know if they, they like get this, but I tried to get them more involved with kind of my thinking process oh, and like to make them feel like they're, or not make them feel, but to put them in a more um, interactive, I guess, environment. So like when I'm trying to do something and when I'm trying to like move my, my song this way or, or trying to move the set this way, I involve them so that, you know, they, they feel more as committed to the song. Cause I think before when I would lead, I kind of just have this thing and then um, like we would just play it. And then I think it was kind of boring for them yeah. or I, I guess that's how I felt. So I, I think like good music comes from like, not only like the, write The lyrics and like, like us singing about who God is and yada, yada, but it's also like if the people playing uh, and singing are like that much excited and like desiring to actually be there. And so, like, I can see the difference. Like, it's, like, night and day when there's, like, people that just are kind of just there compared to, like, people that, like, actually want to, to like, commit to, that, uh, to like, the worship, then, you know. So. Yeah. What, what are you doing? Like, asking them, like, what songs they want to play or helping? Oh, not really songs. Or what? Yeah, kind of, like, the arrangements and, like, also, like, like, putting, um, like, with the singers, giving people more solos. Mm. And then also, like, if I'm trying to, make like um so like example like our last two weeks ago or the last time i led for it yeah i think i did it like a slow or i made i played grace alone in like a really slow kind of hipster way i don't know how to explain it nice. I, I'm, I'm gonna be doing it for ben's wedding so I, you'll, okay. you'll see it okay. yeah. nice and so um like throughout like me playing that i would ask them like if this was okay like do they think this is like a good way to go and like i told them to be honest like if they think it sucked mm. then like it was good. So I gave them a voice and stuff like that. So I thought that was, um, or those are the kind of the small things that I'm doing that are not like, like with me in the worship kind of sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's good, man. I think it's good that you, you know, you're not taking like a dictatorship approach and just kind of like, Oh, do what I say. But yeah, you're trying to emphasize the team more and getting people involved, asking them for their opinions I think it's smart. Mm. Yeah. And I, I do have fun with them because I, I, I try to keep the same people. Um, so it's like me, Tiff, and Tyler or, or I switch with your brother for percussion. Oh, but yeah. I feel like I feel like every time I play, I at least for IT, it's been enjoyable because it's like a small group and then we can – we yeah, we just enjoy – oh, I feel like I enjoy playing with them a lot. So. Yeah, man. You're leading this, fr- uh, this Thursday. No, 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 you're not. No. You're not. It's Joyce. It's Joyce, right? Yeah. Right. Um, that's Grand good. suck, <laughs> Joyce. <laughs> um, how? Okay, so you were. I I noticed that you kind of took a break here and there on Sunday, or you told me that one time, right? Like you, you actually oh, said. You mean like this is like a, a lot, like a long time ago, or like? Uh, re- I guess recently. I guess was it? Recently? You mean like in the past, like month or? Well, yeah, yeah. Or was it just like a couple, like one off, where you said, "Oh, I just need a break." 
Yeah, I, I mean, I, I think like, uh, like when I, like in the beginning of the year, I, I like personally told people that I didn't want to play. Yeah. And so that was kind of, or that was nice, but that was like because I was like going through stuff and like right, I didn't right. want to like conflict my priorities. Yeah. But like, but then I think also, like I've, I've been, I've been trying to be more genuine and like honest with myself because yeah. I think because I grew up here and because um, I'm comfortable with a lot of people. Mm. I'm there's almost I'm not an expectation, but it's like I always like I put this expectation on myself that oh like I have to do these things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so like I think it was I just came back from vacation and then someone asked me to play. Yeah. And so I want I was like I, I genuinely was like thinking and praying, like, okay, like do I actually want to do this? And um yeah, is my heart like genuinely desiring to like serve and like, or am I going to, or is the motivation right now just because like, Oh, culturally, like I know the leader and like all these things. Yeah. And so like, I, I realized that it was more of a cultural, like, like legalistic thing. So I, I told him no, cause I was tired and I just, oh. you know, I hadn't I sat for a while. So, yeah, no, that's good, man. I, <laughs> you're like, you're like way more mature than I am, man. I, I jump at the opportunity to play all the time, man. But I think if you're able to assess yourself and just be like, oh, yeah, you know, I don't I don't need to play right now or I I shouldn't, you know, or you can take a break. I think that's pretty mature to be able to say no to mm. those things. Yeah, that's one thing I've been learning this year with even with everything is like like saying no or if you have the right reason, right? Saying no is like the best thing for yourself a lot of times. Yeah, Cuz yeah. I was like a yes man guy for like all of college. Really? So, yeah. I never I, saw I, you I, as a yes man. Well, I just, it's just like, maybe to like the parents and stuff. Oh, I see. Because of like, you know, but then like I, I, I'm realizing and more and more it's like, yeah, it's not healthy for me. It like makes me turn into this legalistic, like, you know, monster and yeah. stuff. <laughs> legalistic monster. Know, that's, it, a good, but, that's a good word, like, man. I was going through like, or I, I, I think like during college, I'd go through seasons of like me serving and then me just like finding out or me like, when I, after like I committed and then like, I would just like really not want to do like these things that like I committed to. Yeah. And so, yeah. Man, good job, dude. Good job. Well, you're doing Ben's wedding on Saturday. Yeah. Are you, I mean, even though you said you haven't like been able to rehearse too much, do you feel like you're ready? Yeah. I mean, we, I mean, I think I'm rehearsing too much in like the past two weeks or so, but. Okay. Is it just I've been, it's me and my dad. So I, well, it's oh. kind of split. So me and my dad are going to do like the, the beginning of the ceremony. And then when she walks, then I have this, like this guitar thing that I have to do <laughs> and you'll, you'll see it. Sorry for those that can't be at the wedding, but <laughs> you got to find a video on YouTube. <laughs> Spoilers and yeah, yeah. FOMO right now. I'm actually, so it's funny. Cause I'm at, I uh, showed Ben the uh, nothing but the blood. Oh Yeah. And so he found out that that, or he, when he listened to that, he was like, oh, that's Fiona's favorite song. Oh, um, your original recording, the one that yeah. you were on your phone. Yeah, yeah. And okay, then I nice. showed him like the, the, like the snippet that you had. Too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so nice. he was like, oh, yeah. So I'm singing that for um, communion. And then I have to <laughs> sit, play Grace Alone for the thing. So it'll be fun. That's awesome. I enjoy, man. yeah. I, I enjoy like the, like I enjoy leading worship, but I do enjoy like the, like, performance kind of thing where you can kind of do your own thing you don't have to like you know no totally man totally okay because like when you're doing weddings like you're not really like worship leading you know yeah you're kind of showing like, off a little <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't know i feel like sometimes during weddings like oh yeah you know people ask the congregation to sing or whatever but in my mind i'm thinking man nobody's gonna sing this yeah <laughs> yeah i agree and like i mean half of the or there's probably a bunch of people that don't really like i've never like done worship before right yeah true 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 yeah yeah yeah. so i'm expecting a little bit of show from you i guess yeah the goal is i mean the goal is like to ultimately glorify god but there's this sense of like how good or like how pretty can i make no of course yeah i think you can glorify god by your excellence and by your uh i don't know just exhibiting your talents that he's given you i guess you know yeah yeah man i'm looking forward to it that's this saturday right isn't that coming up soon yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I've been practicing on my guitar stuff. It's just I, I don't, or I haven't sang in like the past five days because I just want to make sure that like by like Thursday, yeah, like my voice is like 
ready enough and then I'll like do one run with my dad. Yeah. And stuff. No, yeah. that sounds good. This will be the second wedding that you guys did together, right? Um, let me count. So we did Cheryl's wedding. That I think that's the one that I remember. I yeah. Mean, was were there more? Yeah. I mean, but I think Cheryl's wedding was the funnest because um we did like a non-Christian song. Okay, that sounds really bad. <laughs> but we did a non we did two non-Christian songs. We did a Phil Collins uh Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be in my heart. Yeah, and then we did some other like hipster song she told us to like do. I don't recall the other one. Yeah. I forgot I I, I have a, I think she sent me a recording, but Oh. And then this, the second one was David Wong's wedding. I sang Worship for His. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I sang for JJ's wedding too. Oh, sorry, man. I don't remember those. No, yeah, I know. It's cool. I mean, those ones are all worship sets, so they're kind of just like... Oh, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, I do remember... I think it was JJ's though, because you guys were like in the back. Yeah, it was like this weird setup. Where, you, like, guys, you guys were like in the back, right? But yeah. like, because we were in like a like a field or something. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. like we were facing forward to the bride and groom, but but you guys were in the back. So. Yeah, it was it was really weird. Like, or there was like when I would like, when I started, it was just this awkward, like <laughs> people were searching for where the voice was coming from kind of thing. But but for those of us who know you, like we know it's like you, you know, you yeah, can recognize yeah. your voice or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it was memorable, though, and it was good. You, you guys did a good job, man. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. Um, is I mean, but Phoebe helped you for for some of those, right? Is Phoebe yeah. not going to help you guys on this one? No, yeah. She's like, or I think she's been, she just switched positions at work. Oh, okay. So she's like really busy and stuff, so. She's still at Facebook, yeah. right? Yeah, she's still at Facebook. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. But I don't get all that, uh, that like, protection leeway, man. So if my voice jacks up a little, you're going to hear it compared to before where, like, it kind of blends. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll look out for that, man. I'll look out yeah. for that. Um, okay, so when you're singing... Okay, this one, you're not with your sister. Do you prefer with your sister or without your sister? My sister doesn't listen to the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, I think it depends. Like, if I'm doing, like, slow songs, then maybe um, by myself. Because, like, I can do, I can, like, uh, do, like, riffs and runs because without mm. her worrying mm. about it. And, like, I, I think the first time we were uh, singing for a show wedding, right. I forgot that she was singing with me. <laughs> Wait, and how so, do like, you... I, yeah, and I just, I just got into it, and then I started singing, and I started, like, going off, like, what we, we actually practiced. <laughs> And then she got mad at me after because it's like, dude, like you, like you have to like make sure we stick to the plan because I'm harmonizing with you and I don't know where you're going. I I Sorry, remember yeah. there was one part I I don't know it was at Cheryl's wedding but like you you guys like started like wrong or something and then she oh, gave you like yeah, yeah. this look she, and I could just like no it was this it was this so like I my or sorry that's no, cool. cool my it's cool. my um so when we played I got a little nervous and then. I was, I was like, where, what is the sound? Like, I forgot where, it, like, the, the note it was. And so I was, like, pausing. And then I was like, blah, 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 blah. like, I was singing behind the mic. And then and then the cue started, and then she sung. And yeah. she stopped. And then I just pretended like nothing happened. And she just, like, glared at me. <laughs> I remember that. But I that think was we a good moment, man. I just, like, I just stopped caring. I just went for it. <laughs> that was a good moment, man. Well, hey, look, dude. All the weddings that you done i've i've been impressed i've enjoyed it and i'm sure that um this one would then will just be uh equally as impressive and good yeah i mean one thing i i realized though is that i'm okay not to like um like no offense to like everyone else that i've played weddings but ben's like a really close guy to me you know what i mean like he's like one of my best men i'm not like best friends i mean yeah. we have like so like i think I've been practicing a lot more intensely and like more like fervently because it's like, Oh yeah, it's Ben, you know, no, I'm, I know, I want I, to like give him the best. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. You guys are close. You guys, you guys are close. So obviously, yeah, you never want to let anybody down, but you know, yeah, you yeah. Can put an extra effort here and there to make it a little bit more special. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and my dad's playing with me. So usually my dad just makes everything sound good. Oh yeah, man. I'm, I'm excited. You know, we haven't played with your dad on our team recently, man. I, does he ask? Does he ask? Like, how come? How come? Um, I think. I mean, I think maybe like a like a little like a. He'll just be like, "Oh, are you guys playing this Saturday?" I'm like, "Yeah," and he's like, "Oh, okay, cool." And then he okay. kinda, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, 
because you know when we stripped it down to just me and you i've been trying to slowly like bring it back, know, up. back up you know but i i haven't found the right week where i just felt like okay we, this time we need that bass guitar you know yeah I yeah because we've been enjoying the this acoustic uh yeah, it's like different. simple thing yeah it's different i i think i've been going a little bit too bonkers with the percussion though you know so i'm gonna <laughs> bring it down I, to, I don't know i don't know yet but I, i'm sure there's a limit somewhere there yeah yeah um you are you are going to be doing youth worship soon are you excited yeah 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 i think like like the biggest influence in my like in my life has been or one of them has been like um youth worship and just like music throughout my high school junior high like life yeah and like how like i didn't know it at the time but like looking back it's like all this like theology and like the these like yeah, all, all this theology that was like we were singing like has been yeah because i sing it and because i i've like memorized it and like I, there's like an emotional aspect to it yeah it it's like helped me um actually like believe in like like take joy in like the things that are like we're singing you know ah oh, good man good yeah i'm excited to have you come in and like help the younger generation i i'm sure you've done it before but for some reason this one this time around it seems a little bit more uh intense or more official yeah more. yeah yeah i forgot what, what's my my role again like something counselor yeah something like that i i forgot what exactly what title i gave you but yeah it's gonna be some type of worship i think it's worship coordinator i think is what it oh is. dang dude that yeah. sounds intense man yeah yeah, yeah 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 so um i i'm excited for it for it man and i think I think I, I'm excited because I've I've seen you mature as a leader, and it's going to be fun to see you train up um, younger ones and to see like what exactly you want them to have mm -hmm. uh, from you specifically, and how they like kind of take that and make it their own. You know, because I mean, I worked with you before, right? But like, I, I guess I'm more of like a a rock guy, you know, whereas you're more mm -hmm. of like a like a jazz guy. So I feel that like, you know, you, you took what I gave you and you, you still found a way to make it your own, you know, like when, yeah, you did, yeah, um, yeah. Like when we did uh freaking uh, in the cross, you know, like you, you totally made that your own. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited yeah. to see how, how you deal with these guys, man. Yeah. I talked to um, What's his name? Samuel. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. yeah. And he's, he's like a, we were talking about music on Friday. Like I introduced <laughs> myself and like, like he was talking about all these bands. I was like, man, I like I don't I haven't heard of any of these bands and stuff. So Dude, that guy's like so hardcore, man. That guy's yeah. super hardcore. He's like writing songs. Uh he says he was telling me how like he's finding psalms and he's writing his own songs. And, like, oh, that's awesome. Do that. So that's awesome. Yeah. That, that's something that we should um we should all do together, actually. Yeah, I'm down, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh remind me. Remind me. After that on the after this podcast gets launched, man, remind me that uh that's next on the agenda. <laughs> all right, I'm down. Um all right, man. Last 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 topic, I guess. Um what have you been listening to lately, man? Well what, what's mm. been on your playlist? John Mayer? Actually, no. I mean I YouTube been... stars. So that I like a little bit. That kind of died off though. <laughs> But it's been like um, it's been like these like like I mean like do you know who Daniel Caesars are do Daniel Caesar is no I don't so sure. he's like this guy that I've been listening to a lot he does like slow like R and B soul ballads and stuff oh yeah yeah um, is he a singer songwriter or is he just he, I think he's voice? a singer songwriter okay his his lyrics are uh, kind of not PG but I mean <laughs> that's okay man that's yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then uh, I've been listening to, here, let me just look at my phone. Oh, I've been listening to this song a lot. It's called, Tor it's Hills and Valleys, Torn Wells. It's a Christian song, but oh. he makes it a, uh, it's like him playing, the, uh, him just singing with the piano. Oh, I can cool. I show you it. It's like, or and it's, it's also because like, um, so the lyrics basically talk about um, like, like living your life when you're, like on the top, right in the hills yeah. and like living your life when you're like in the valleys. Yeah. And so that's kind of like the theme that I've been learning, right? The past that, kind of six months. That's with like been my the theme of your life right now, dude. Yeah, yeah. The, my unemployment and like me not knowing what I'm doing and stuff. And so like, this was like the song that was kind of 
yeah, that I sing a lot and, and stuff. So, I mean, you can check it out. It's really, it's really a, like, Christian poppy, I guess. Yeah. I, I'll just, I'll just send it to you. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll definitely check it out, man. Thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, and, and then, uh, oh yeah, go ahead. And then the last one is mm. Tori Kelly. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What track? Um, or just her entire discography. I like, I've been listening to her Forward album, her EP. Oh, okay, 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 nice. Because she has some, like, crazy, like, uh, singing in there. It's just, like, all, like, so controlled, but so, like, crisp and clean and, like, smooth. I don't know, she's awesome. Awesome. Man. awesome. Yeah. Dude, thanks for the recommendations, man. And thanks for, uh, thanks for doing this, this podcast, man. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. I hope, um, I hope my, uh, my quality was nice, because, yeah, uh, it, it sounds good so far, man. Uh, I plan to, to release this pretty soon so I'll, I'll let you know when it's out and then uh for sure if we get a good response man we'll do it again yeah i'm done thanks philip for being my guest on the show and thank you everyone for listening this is season three of the sound words podcast and i'm going for a more produced feel so please send me your feedback or questions for follow-up you can even send me any questions specifically for philip to follow up on and i'll be sure to get to them in the next few episodes In the show notes, you'll find links to our podcast archive. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, or your favorite podcast player. My website is musicgoon.com. The email address for this podcast is soundwords at musicgoon.com. And you can always tweet me at musicgoon. Thanks. See you soon.